Hey tribes, this is a new video of TrainFit channel where we did works this morning on various points for clearing what I did for the last past six weeks to achieve the challenge of Iron Man, but the complete one, which is 140.6, a lot of kilometers, a lot of pain. So this video will introduce the new training, how I build my training for the next nine months, nine to 12 months. And you will see by details what I did this week because I started this week, the new training, which we call the build uh, part. And we will continue through the different weeks and what will be my training daily. So now, what I did for the first six weeks, which I call the rebuilding, remember for one year, I didn't train regularly and it was a mess. So I gained weight, fat, and I lost automatically uh, conditioning and stuff. It was a mess. So I needed to rebuild the strength first of my back, which is injured, uh, getting back some strengths of my legs, which I still work with the, the coach that we have with Michel that is right next to me, uh, for rebuilding the strengths of my right legs, which is the weakness of my body. So we use conditioning, strengths, pliometry, uh, and we started to incorporate uh, agility and coordination, which is a mess. So those six weeks, which was definitely built on squat. Uh, with Michel, we were training together most of the time. Squat, uh, a lot of kettlebell, a lot of static movement, uh, pull-ups, uh, some functional bodybuilding with arms and forearms. Uh, so you will tell me, but why forearms and why arms? Because it's helping you when you run and it's helping you, especially when you swim with the, the big uh, plaquette we call uh, in French. And also for the bike, because you have to hold this uh, uh, wheel. And sometimes when you are heavy, it's pretty tense. And especially on the arms, when you have a frequent arm, I don't have the small arm, uh, my arms gain and suck a lot of energy by blood because of the volume of the muscle. I'm not a bodybuilder, but it sucks. So I uh, incorporate the, the endurance training uh, as I did before for other training for the grip and not having issues that I encounter when uh, Michel helped me for doing the Ironman 70.3, which had a lot of issues with cramp on my calf my forearms and my quad. My forearm was done at the end of the bike. So it sounds crazy, but <laughs> believe me, my arms was like a big a session of bodybuilding. So anyway, some, some video that we did already, you will see some squat. So the squat help uh, to open the hips and reinforce the gainage, uh, the tone or the core of your body, especially the lower back and all the erectus muscles, um, erector muscles in your, in your spine. Then a lot of core training, which was a plank uh, with Renata, our coach uh, and a friend. And uh, it was helping me again to engage more muscles and uh, having less pain when I go round or even when I go back. So as the one of the video that we did, I think it was the second one, uh, I show the, the training on squat. So I go very lightweight. Uh, I'm focused on pushing forward my knee. Some crazy uh, coach will tell, no, don't do that. But again, uh, I was a coach in CrossFit. <laughs> I've been a coach for almost all my life. Uh, it, it is very important to uh, let the natural body. So the squat was helping. Then now you can see that I work on a specific explosivity movement uh, that you can use in bodybuilding can help you, but uh, it's giving you more uh, tonicity and uh, nervous influx 
into your muscle, especially the arm string, which I had uh, some issues last year when I was uh, running. Uh, it was cramping as hell. So I decided to incorporate uh, those exercises more often with a long set and sometimes heavy. So I, I, I switch both training. That's why I call that hybrid training. Uh, because you will see on different uh, video in different months how my training is built. So I build my own training. I use different books that I will talk after uh, and I mix, I learn, I adapt and I see what it's working and not working. So this exercise, you can see that I'm very uh, slow at the eccentricity when I re release the muscle and then when I concentrate, it's very fast for the explosivity. Then lunge that are pretty fast uh, with weight. Why I use weight for the balance? Because I didn't have at the time. Sit up for the psoas, not the abs, but the psoas. That's why I open my hip. Uh, it's helping me to move my hip. Uh, again, I have uh, some issues. Uh, I will make a video with uh, full uh, information about what I have uh, because you will probably see and you can see my knee, right knee and my legs is not the same uh, fit, the same part of the other one. So as you can see, push-ups, that was part also for uh, the arms, but not necessarily only the arms, but only for engaging core because uh, on your uh, neuronal system when you do push-ups you are focused on your arms i was not focused on my arms i was focused on the core and engaging the muscle of my back you will see that i use a lot of back training because again i have uh, huge injuries that i cannot uh, play with if not i will be a uh, screw for the rest of the year so i do a lot of pull down um, why? Because it's relaxing my shoulders. Uh, if you see, I pull more with my back than with my arms. My biceps are engaged, but not crazy. And I like to use lightweight than heavy weight. This I use a technique that I learned from an old friend, um, two old friends uh, in bodybuilding when I did bodybuilding a long time ago, which are super set. Uh, close pull down grip which is crazy for the grip uh, of the forearms and the end and uh, the wide uh, part and the close one for the back so thanks to Frank and Lawrence for that uh, the, the bodybuilder one long time ago the rowing was part of my conditioning uh, as I told you in the first video I did a lot of crossfit not anymore but uh, the, the rowing helps you to have more conditioning, being able to accelerate and engage all your, your cardio uh, and all muscles, which is uh, literally crushing you if you don't have any cardio, as I had. So the, the good test in CrossFit is the 2K, because the 2K doesn't lie. So now, this is what we call core strength conditioning, all mixed together. Uh, thanks to Renata, which is the, the, the coach that I was uh, using two years ago with another coach for uh, the, the Ironman. But this time I don't use any coach, as I told you, for Ironman, only the coach for conditioning, agility and coordination, which uh, helped me to not think about my other training because it's a lot of work. As you can see, uh, it was probably the third, third week or the second week, I'm more fat. Uh, I have tendency to not balance myself. You can see my hip are shaking, uh, shaky, shaky baby. Um, I had a lot of tension on my shoulders because I, I injured my shoulder with my kids a long time ago. Uh, I was having some difficulty to breathe correctly because focus on the core. Uh, but thanks for the, the, the body. You can see that I, I like to joke too when I train. Um, so this is part of what we call on the strength and endurance for the muscles. It's engaging a lot of the hip muscles and also the legs muscles. So we, we does that twice. I'm, I'm going twice a week with, with Renata. Uh, you can uh, connect with her. I don't know if she does training online but she's an amazing coach thanks to you Renata if you watch the, 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 the video um, 
it's helping me to be focused during the training and not using the knowledge that I have and the experience in training since almost 35 years now um, and, and the, the, the license that I have in diploma, I like to go with her because I'm not thinking, I just execute what she says, focus on my training and not starting to change um, because if not, you, you, you are not focused on. Uh, most of the athletes in triathlon, they don't, they don't prepare their own training, they use other people I don't want to do that because it costs a lot and for me it's not uh, um, honest with yourself because these sports, a challenge, need you to work 100% on yourself. If you start to use other people then you have uh, other time for being distracted. So you can see we use different things as you can see of Michel uh, and we, we use uh, agility, coordination and uh, you see uh, it's bumbling everywhere um, because I'm more fat at the time now I'm starting to be more toned and more fit but my weight doesn't change so because I build muscles why is it important to use um, you know weight and uh, various exercise uh, that's why I like to use CrossFit too um, but uh, Renata build the, 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 the training at the same uh, uh, value of uh, CrossFit, not the same exercise, uh, like that we avoid some, some <laughs> uh, injuries. So it is very important to activate uh, various muscles and various weights. So I used to uh, use more weight, heavy weight, because I'm a strong guy. Um, I decided to manage this and shift all the time. Um, why? Because I realized uh, the last two weeks that using too much weight, I become more uh, heavier um, when I run, especially. And when I swim, it's just a catastrophic thing. I have less mobility and I absorb more oxygen because my muscles are like <coughs> not breathing. So you can see we have explosivity uh, because your body needs to work on different pace. A lot of uh, triathletes uh, you will see uh, make, in um, uh, my opinion, a mistake to use too much light weight or too much heavy weight. You need to shock your body because triathlon is a regular pace, but I ask you sometimes to accelerate and uh, when you pass from swimming to the bike, you have an acceleration, uh, first of all, of stress because your mind is focusing the water and you have to pass with a tool named bike and this is uh, sometimes very, very difficult. First, thanks to Michelle because she is the, the one manipulate the, the staff. So uh, now as you can see, we have the, the training. So how I build the training? Simply, I use two books. One, I will put uh, down below the link of the book because I don't remember the, the, the name. It's complete, complete training of Iron Man. And the other one is how to finish or to start or to finish the, the Iron Man in 24 weeks. Um, so I use those two um, uh, books support to understand how we need to build uh, those training. Uh, again, I can build for you uh, training for bodybuilding. I can train for strengths. Uh, we will talk after uh, later on on the strengths, what I use, uh, why I use it. And uh, uh, then the hybrid athlete. That's why I call that hybrid athlete. Other uh, uh, athlete, triathlete on YouTube use uh, hybrid. I do believe that it's come from uh, Nick Bear, which is very popular. I go on Iron Man because I was following him online mm -hmm. and I thought that it was funny. Uh, so the first month and a half, two months from uh, beginning of August until now, I used uh, a lot, as I talked earlier, of training to rebuild all my body and starting to uh, work on my mind, works on my injuries and try to see what I absolutely need to work, like a techniques for swimming uh, and we will talk about that after, but how to uh, try to be on the good track to make the progress and record my progress. Mm -hmm. So the first block, I, I build in block, call that block. 
the first block or period will be building the capacity of following the other block in training which are necessary to achieve this major, uh, uh, I will say, race because Ironman is extremely demanding uh, mentally and physically and stressful. So the first uh, um, two months, so from last week until the 6th November, I have some notes, this will be the build uh, part. So I will just show you <coughs> the, the, the first week. Uh, most of the week they are built the same way. I will just increase 10% every two weeks uh, my, my uh, training to see how I will manage it for after changing the other blocks. So the Monday, the last Monday, uh, I didn't swim, I should swim, but the pool is closed on Monday. So I switch on Tuesday. So the Tuesday, so forgot about the Monday, the Tuesday on the morning, I did go swim at 10.45, 11, if I remember well. And I did it to do 300 yards, which is 2,800 meters, if I don't uh, mistake, or 2,900. And it was based on techniques. So the warm up was uh, a lot of meters, which is nearly between five and 600 meters without fins uh, to oblige myself to uh, um, uh, engage more uh, uh, techniques of the legs, especially the footer, uh, the, the, the beat, uh, because usually the beat are uh, complicated for me with, first of all, my legs and the fact that I'm a, a pretty heavy uh, dude. So, so I, I build with the warm up, with warm up have some drills. You can see 200 uh, freestyle, so you can uh, use whatever you want. If you want to uh, swim on your back, whatever. The, the objective is warming up and starting to put yourself uh, into the fish body, you know, uh, and uh, understanding that um, uh, what is the objective of the session in your mind, the first, it's what I'm doing, the first uh, 200 meters, and uh, focus on, okay, I will adapt myself, I will try to understand and feel, because you are in the water and it's complicated. So, 200 freestyle, 100 kick, uh, then you can use fins or not, depending, I don't like use, to use too much fins when I do kick, uh, because I want to understand the, 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 the pace uh, and the space that I will use between my feet. So I, I watch uh, a lot of video and I read. Uh, sometimes I, on, I ask to uncle, uh, which is a coach, um, 200 freestyle again, then 100 kicks uh, with 15, 20 second rest. Usually you grill between 10 to 20 second rest. Sometimes it's 45 seconds, but it's not often. Then after you have the main set drill, uh, which are built on my uh, issues so that's why i said that i use the program from the books but i change i go look on what kind of session so you have a lot of guys online through instagram facebook uh, youtube showing you a different and various exercise like for example uh, uh, this guy uh, that i was taren uh, that uh, show you he was a beginner now he's not he, if he is good um, you have other coach that are focus on swimming that show you different and various techniques that you can use or you can download or buy books for a swimming triathlete which we don't swim as a regular swimming athlete because our job is not making a 50 meters as fast as possible <laughs> but it's swimming 4k easy um, so as you can see we have various techniques uh, uh, for example a C and U is catch up so you will swim, for example, on one side and then you will go catch up your, your arms. So you will do two times and then the same things. It's helping you first to be able to uh, uh, breathe on uh, the opposite side. I used to breathe directly on my right side and I start to feel that the neck is not <laughs> needs to be adjusted. So 
This was the Tuesday. Uh, usually on the Monday, I uh, you will see that I uh, do an activity for triathlon and then strength. Uh, that's the Monday. So the Monday uh, and the, the 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 Tuesday too. I do conditioning, but at the gym. So the Monday I did bike 70 minutes. Uh, turbo workout they call that um, which was a main set of uh, three times three minutes 20 second fast spin and 40 second easy uh, then go back 40 second uh, fast spin 20 second blah, blah 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 during three minutes you can play if you want uh, it's what I did on Thursday I think uh, I do a MOM which I use uh, the techniques from CrossFit to increase my conditioning, I don't advise you to do it if you are a beginner like me, uh, because it's asking a lot of energy. So the, the Monday I did bike and conditioning with Renata, uh, which usually she build uh, the training on legs. Uh, you have a lot of legs, but she use all the, the, the body as cross, CrossFit, but a lot of uh, body weight training, core, uh, we use a lot of kettlebell, uh, so it's it's a very interesting work, uh, and I personally I do like it, and I advise you uh, to find a coach like this, not necessarily come to Brazil for doing it, uh, but you probably contact uh, Renata. She speaks correctly English, uh, even perfectly English. So I'm sure if you contact her, you will have down below the the information. She will respond to you, and she will be happy to make more clients. <laughs> Uh, so anyway, so th this was Monday and uh, Tuesday I did the swim, like I, I said. Then the Tuesday night, uh, I, after the swimming, I did, uh, usually I do a transition run. If I didn't do on the Monday, uh, I can switch because I like to try to do two sessions uh, during the day, but not every day. The Wednesday... I swim again. Uh, so it was 300, uh, uh, 3,500 yards came down. I did only 1,900 meters. I was done. The water was cold. Uh, the training was enjoyable, but I was done through the, the, the strength and, and uh, training, uh, which usually my legs are uh, fucked up. So the swim was a lot of freestyle again, stroke. You can see two freestyle, two stroke, which mean 25 uh, meter freestyle, 25 meter stroke, and uh, continuing like this for 50 meters. I didn't do 24 set, I did four, uh, 14 set, which was uh, enough. Then I continuing on main set, I didn't do 10 set, I did eight set of 150 meters uh, which you can see 50 uh, freestyle 50 stroke 50 freestyle easy on 15 second rest so then the cool down uh, i didn't do 8 uh, 75 i did only 5 75 i was done and at night i did the bike but i didn't do the strength uh, i removed it we did it on the Tuesday with Michel, if I remember well, and we did the Wendler. Uh, we'll come back on Wendler after. So the bike was, uh, I didn't do 60 minutes, I did 80 minutes, uh, which is an hour and 20 minutes. Uh, and I was uh, shifting between um, zone one and zone two. So usually it's 15 minutes warm up at uh, 80 rpm which is the speed of the bike and my pulse rate is around 120 111 uh, and then i push up uh, and then come back uh, 15 uh, cool down uh, after the main set thursday i needed to swim i didn't go swim i tried to go on friday Thursday, we did just train uh, at the gym. I think I did one hour bike, if I remember well, uh, which was an easy bike for recover because I was tired. So uh, this swimming I did on 
Friday. Yeah, it was yesterday. I don't remember. Or Thursday, I don't remember. No, it was a Friday. Friday, I did a swim four times 200 meter. I did the, the 2,500 yards, which is 24 or 2,300 meters. So 200, uh, four times 200 as a warm up, two freestyle, so meaning 100, uh, 25 meter freestyle, one uh, 25 uh, meters kick, 25 uh, meters stroke, 15 seconds, and you continue like this for four times, uh, which is 200 in total uh, for, for the, the, the splitted uh, drill. Then nine times 50 meters, which is three stroke on 15 second rest. Uh, so it's uh, pretty uh, tense because each three stroke you change uh, the stroke. So three stroke on one arm, three stroke on one other arms. And usually it's done. You did the 25 meters, and then three uh, freestyle, um, 10 seconds. So you, you build um, the same amount of uh, um, drill, but you descend, you decrease the amount of rest, which at the end of the, the nine set, you are crushed. Uh, then the main set, so th this was a warm up. The main set is 300, uh, three times 100 meters. Uh, this you push yourself in zone four, five, um, and uh, it's uh, pretty intense and uh, not easy because the 100 meters are broke uh, each time with 20 second rest. So you are like done, but it's only three set. So you feel warm. Two times 70 meters easy with 20 uh, second rest. So you, you uh, are on zone two, you go very slow. And then six times 100 meters uh, freestyle. So uh, you have the, the detail below. Two, um, two, uh, two set on 20 uh, second rest with easy pace. Two set of 15 second rest moderate. So you increase, you are HR two or three. Uh, and then two um, with 10 second rest, which give you less time to rest. So you, you have an increasing uh, pulse rate. Then cool down 200 uh, meters easy. What I did, I used the board and uh, I put the board behind my head and I was just using my legs. So it took an hour for doing 200 meters. At the end of the day, I needed to do a run fart leg. Uh, to be honest, my legs uh, was not feeling very well this week, especially in my lower back. Yeah, uh, the back. yeah so I did a lot of uh, healing session with Michel and on Tuesday, on Tuesday uh, because on a Reiki, Michel is a, a Reiki healer and she's part of the group, which is a temple, a spiritual temple, where they provide uh, healing uh, Reiki. If you have it, wherever you are, you have people doing Reiki or massage, I advise you, especially when you're beginner, you need a lot of rest. Uh, follow your body and your intuition how your body feel if you get tired don't go train recover but don't go train you can do 20 minute bike walking we walk a lot yeah. uh, it's helping to recover and the mind is releasing when you start to tap into a craziness of overtraining you get fucked uh, so i know some people will say no i don't believe in overtraining believe me i trained for 35 years i started to train at five years old um, you can get easily into overtraining and hurt yourself, not necessarily physically, but spiritually and psychologically, and can lead you to a lot of issues. So pay attention to uh, how you feel. Friday. Friday, usually it's the day off, but I took on Thursday. So you see, you can arrange the, the, the program. And we did um, a conditioning training with Renata. And then I was doing the, the bike, as I told you, uh, the swimming, as I told you that I didn't do on Wednesday. Um, so I jumped out a fart leg training and uh, one swimming this week. Then um, Saturday, no training. Why? Uh, because I didn't want it. I was pretty lazy. Uh, and uh, again, my lower back hurts me. So I try to still figure it out how to train correctly. 
uh, um, and uh, so it was a rest day yesterday we walk uh, we did go to the beach we walk we did our stuff so it was a pretty cool day and today that will be not fun uh, I had to do strengths which I will not because this week I did a lot and I will run 50 to 70 minutes I will be honest it will not go over 60 minutes uh, in HR1 which I will probably push a little bit on HR2 which is zone 2 um, usually zone 1 for me it's uh, a very fast walk uh, uh, my cardio go up after probably 16 17 minutes uh, when I run very slow uh, because again I'm heavy so my body start to suck energy um, I like to run between zone 1 zone 2 which is 120 125 pulse minute and I jump until 130 and I'm pretty good I can run for two hours so tomorrow I will uh, continue my building, which will have more training. I will start to increase the volume of the training. So I will not detail it, no necessity. Um, I will do it for, uh, I think it's seven or eight weeks until the 6th November. I'm not very good in mathematics, but I think it's seven or eight weeks. Then after, I will build um, an endurance foundation, which I will work more on my pace, uh, uh, trying to build a very uh, consistent endurance, which this one will start on November 7 until the January 15. I will not use heavy weight during this period. So you will probably see me uh, uh, moving, but I will do more functional bodybuilding for increasing uh, the quality. And you quality. have um, a specific train with Renata right? yes 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 uh, with Renata we I asked her uh, Friday if we can start more agility and coordination uh, because I realized this year when I start back the training my uh, coordination was crazy shit <laughs> um, uh, normally I'm able to walk on my hand uh, I always been a good athlete in, in gymnastic in CrossFit uh, uh, I do realize that I lost it. The, the one legs, we did one legs a couple of days ago uh, on the box. I was not able to do it. I had no coordination uh, because for a year I didn't use it. And uh, again, uh, triathlon, if you don't uh, train correctly, uh, you will have some issues because it's only based on endurance and doesn't request you to do explosive stuff. Uh, other on specific training but your body don't used to uh, be um, trained as crossfit or functional bodybuilding which asks you to adapt yourself to any uh, situation climbing to the tree climbing to the rope ask you explosive endurance resistance triathlon doesn't ask you that so so then, as I said, we will have uh, an endurance building, which this will uh, push a little bit more on the pace. I will try to increase my pace. Uh, so this will be the 16th January to the 12th March. Then after, I will uh, use the pace race, which I work and create and uh, um, increase the capacity to have the same pace during the race which if uh, during the endurance building, I did uh, reach, I don't know, 8.56 uh, uh, per minute, per, per uh, kilometers, I will try to drop down at 8.38 to see uh, if I can stand during all the, the, the running pace during the Ironman, the, during the race, uh, if I can maintain the, the fast pace. And down. I don't think it would be crazy uh, if I reach 10 or, or even 11 uh, per uh, kilometers. That will be fantastic. I'm an heavy guy. Then after we will have the tapper. The tapper is reducing completely before the rest week, and this uh, is the rest week. Sorry, and this is usually two weeks or one weeks that you can take. I probably I will probably take two to three weeks to decrease my training and which will be between the May 29 and the June 11 to reach after the race week. Uh, I didn't choose exactly the, the exact date of the, 
the Ironman. You have several uh, Ironman during June or even July, and I uh, will play with it. I would like to have my race week between the 12th and the 16th June, and probably have the race between the 17th and the 19th uh, of June. If it's July, then I will readjust. Uh, for for being able to be ready for the race. So now what I wanted to do is uh, this is one of my last uh, runs as a bricks or transition as depend of you, you want to use it. So it was uh, almost 40k of bike uh, which uh, various speed and, and uh, stuff uh, which I described in the in the training uh, so you can go back and see. And uh, after that, <coughs> and you need to run for 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes, depend of your uh, capacity. I build my capacity until 30 minutes. I'm able to run 30 minutes after at easy, easy pace, uh, which we are in zone two. And uh, you can see that uh, if you are a specific runner, that <coughs> I engage uh, even more my right legs uh, you can see the calves on the right legs is more uh, like uh, contracted than the other one. Why? Because I have more pressure on my right legs due to my knee and hip issues. Uh, as you can see, I'm a heavy runner. Uh, I can run fast, but not for a long time. Uh, so I'm starting to build a, a real foundation of cardio. Um, and it's helping me, uh, uh, the way I, I build my stuff, uh, help me to, to be able to run longer without too much soreness after. Um, I will try to increase uh, my leg strength and explosivity, and you can even see that um, the right feet uh, doesn't uh, go the same way of the left feet. I have uh, what we call a, a crush of uh, the supination, and so which I, I start to become pronator, uh, and this can uh, give some issues to your lower back and your uh, knee, uh, which is an inside ligament uh, that can can start to bother you. I will not have these issues because most of my ligaments are becoming a huge tendon now uh, due to the adaptation that I had after my uh, several surgery when I was younger. So I'm fine, I will just adapt myself. Uh, if you have any uh, uh, comment uh, for the running techniques at this pace, which I think I can walk, uh, please um, feel free. Uh, I will always take uh, advice. <coughs> I use the marathon eight or nine, I don't remember, which are almost done um, for this kind of thing. I don't like uh, high cushion uh, because I, I lose my balance. I will try Soconi soon, I guess. Uh, if you want to sponsorize, you are welcome. Um, so uh, I don't use usually a uh, treadmill uh, because of the impact. I prefer to, to run outside. I'm a wild guy. Uh, at the beach is uh, way better. We have a chance to be able to run at the, the, the beach. So yeah, I increase uh, weekly. You will see it uh, during the short video or, or the, the resume of week uh, that I increase on the Saturday, uh, usually bike and run to be uh, more capable when I will, I will be during the race to uh, transit between bike and run, which the last time was a, a, a catastrophe and a painful situation. So this uh, bike session was the one hour, 20 minutes, uh, which I did uh, 30K something, uh, 31 or 36K. Um, as you can see, I'm working more on uh, zone two 2.6, I'm, I'm, I'm not going above zone three. Uh, and I try to go on 100, 110 RPM to uh, accelerate um, the speed and uh, uh, trying to get more mileage, more kilometers in my legs uh, with the fast speed, because I know when we transit from pool to bike, it's okay, but when we uh, uh, drive from bike 
to run the, the, the three transition uh, are tough for the legs. So the more you are able to, um, uh, um, I will call that ride fast, uh, the more your legs used to be tired and uh, you don't have this problem of cramp, which can be also a problem as a sodium or potassium, but my problem was absolutely not the potassium. It was the lack of training. I did the half Ironman in, in three months, three, four months of intense training, which was a, a mistake, doable, but kind of dangerous. So, so now it's um, this kind of exercise that I wanted to explain uh, what I have with my legs. Again, we will do a video on it for you to understand and see that it can also uh, be an obstacle and we can uh, how we can see an obstacle sometimes can slow us down to uh, want to achieve something. So you can see that I have a lack of mobility. I will not look at you. I will look at the, 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 the screen that is below for commenting. So this is the wrong knee. You can see that my knee is not very well. And you see, I land on my toe, which I should not land on the toes. I should land on the flat feet. Uh, so I um, have a lack of uh, uh, stability. And you can see, there we go. Uh, uh, just <laughs> need to, to explain. Uh, that's due to the two hernia that I have, uh, which I don't think one is extremely good actually, uh, because the pain increase. And also it's helping me to uh, have kind of the trip, triple extension. So I will have a, those triple, triple extension will help me to run and activate more my lower back and especially the psoas, which is a deep muscles between the lumbar, uh, thoracic, the last thoracic and uh, your, your femoral bones. Uh, it is a very important muscles to stretch to understand because it's not necessarily only an anatomical and physiological obstacle. If you don't take care of it, as I did, uh, it will uh, create a tremendous uh, amount of damage. And usually when it's damaged, it's because spiritually and psychologically you are damaged too. So when you start to understand that, uh, you start to reflect on yourself uh, not only on the material, uh, uh, the physical aspect, but also on the spiritual aspect. And you have to dig more because it's a deep muscle, one of the deepest muscles uh, and strengths and strong. Uh, so you have to uh, uh, really dig into it to comprehend what it's working. And again, the objective of those videos is not to show me training. Uh, personally, I don't care about it but it's showing you how you can achieve and pass any obstacle in your life and associate uh, my experience, what I share with you through the comprehension of where, what, and how you can pass the obstacle of your life. Again, it can be financial, it can be spiritual, it can be uh, uh, you know, uh, work, professional, it could be familial, it could be friend, uh, personal, uh, anyone have an uh, obstacle. My obstacle was the root chakra with the, the sacrum due to an accident and the past life. Um, uh, so the behavior, and you need to fix all of that. If not, the obstacle cannot be passed. If you just want to crush the mountain face of you, believe me, uh, with all the humbleness, you will crush yourself. Sometimes you need to climb it and, and take the risk in consideration. And sometimes resign yourself and say, I will take more time, but I have to contour on the things. And, and through the other way, you will learn more tools to become a better version of yourself and passing beyond those obstacles. So my obstacle right now is uh, working on the physical aspect uh, the matters. Why? Because I shift too much for a year and a half uh, on the spiritual aspect, which create a lack of uh, strength of my muscles, uh, seated, working and stuff like that. So you all the time have to look at yourself, uh, look around you to reflect what you can work for progress. Now I keep talking about strengths. Uh, strengths can mean a lot of things. Uh, I used to, again, uh, be a strength athlete, 
powerlifter, bodybuilder, and also uh, CrossFit. Why I always refer to CrossFit is because CrossFit, uh, you have some movement uh, which we call Wendler. It's a program or Texas, which has five, three, and one reps, which you work completely in the strengths. But strength is not only those kind of reps, especially for triathlon. The more you are able to work on your endurance, muscles endurance, nerve system, uh, the, the influ, the, the capacity of your nerve to react, and uh, uh, how to develop as fast as possible uh, a heavy weight and how you can move whatever the speed uh, a heavy weight those components are integrating and mixing strength power speed agility and tonicity there is why i uh, employ several and various training but my component, my foundation are Wendler. Why I do use Wendler program? Because I use it for several years in CrossFit, uh, in uh, when I was doing security in international for having the capacity of, you know, moving with all our equipment. Um, you build a, a consequent uh, a strength uh, with your body, but generated on uh, various exercise and not just uh, one joint or one muscle, it's polyarticular. I love to do it because it's asking uh, to your body to react with a tremendous amount of hormones, so especially testosterone and others. But also what I observe on me, I, I don't talking about others, is that it's reducing uh, 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 dramatically the inflammation of my body, which is crazy. Uh, but I, I give an answer on that is that the more you use uh, uh, intelligently, I will say, and, and in a certain manner, uh, some polyarticular um, exercise, the more you absorb water inside your joint. Uh, it doesn't dry your joint, but it, it's uh, increasing the water, which your body can recover uh, some um, uh, injuries and heal your, your, your the part that is um, injured. So Wendler is uh, easy. No, it's not. The real uh, Wendler program is not easy. It's requesting on the first week five reps, then three reps, then one rep, then you deload. Where I modify the things is I like to do a session, for example, the Monday, I will do five reps. Uh, then I will incorporate the Wednesday, the three reps, and the Friday or the Saturday, I will do one rep. Um, then I deload the week after, but the deload is still working with uh, a lot of uh, weight but I will increase the amount of repetition. So for example, if I can do bench press, no needs, because for three athletes, a bench press, it's just ridiculous. But if I can do snatch uh, or snatch pull, as you can see on some shot that we did, uh, lightweight uh, baby, like said, Ronnie Coleman, um, I will uh, incorporate a deadlift, a one leg deadlift, a single leg uh, and, and a single arm deadlift, uh, I will use more uh, squat, front squat, back squat, lunge, um, uh, Romanian deadlift, uh, split squat uh, with jump, um, press, some press for my shoulders for having more, more strength for the pool, for example. Uh, those exercises are polyarticular. Uh, if you start to work too much heavy, you will have issues, you will slow down. Uh, again, I'm talking about triathlon, I'm not talking other sports. Uh, if I work too much on explosivity, same things, my body will have too much uh, uh, capacity to work on epoxy, but um, uh, to work on the, the alactat, which is uh, explosivity. Uh, and I will not be able to maintain uh, the same pace for two hours. Uh, my body will not train on that. So I need to regulate and, and train with a various training uh, to 
make the balance because life is about balance uh, is about harmony if i train too much on oxidative which is the triathlon uh, on endurance um, i will uh, train myself to uh, respond physiologically to a certain way of training and my body will not be able to respond to other training that I still like and can protect my body and can be uh, productive and uh, beneficial for, for the triathlon, especially strength. So please take a look on Wendler. I will make other videos to dig more deeply inside Wendler. I will use also bodybuilding. Some people will say it's crazy, uh, but with experience bodybuilding, uh, it's not that you are a bodybuilder that you don't have any endurance. It's just if you push too much on bodybuilding and you are massive, then for sure uh, you will have uh, a difficulty for other sports. So I will incorporate uh, various techniques you will see. Uh, I know it's working because on CrossFit I had a, a, a very uh, tremendous amount of uh, benefits uh, on it. Uh, and it was helping me also to heal myself when I had injuries. Now we will pass on mobility which is probably the most important uh, key with nutrition and uh, to recover and uh, avoid injuries. So now, uh, as you can see, um, I have, so mobility. The mobility are very important to recover, uh, accentuate uh, the, the benefit, the benefit, sorry, of training and uh, to recover and prevent some uh, possibility of injury, especially when you uh, make repetition as we do in triathlon uh, for several exercises, especially uh, running and uh, swimming. Don't think that swimming are not traumatic. It is for shoulders, especially for shoulders like mine. So this is a movement that Renata was uh, asking us. Um, we used it in CrossFit for the snatch and we use usually a PVC pipe, which I don't have here. Uh, I will probably uh, use it more. But again, I had a, a very um, a sharp injuries four years ago um, when I did skateboard with my twin boys. Uh, thank you guys. And um, I wanted to show a holy to uh, my son and lack of balance at the time the skateboard leave, my arms fall, and I ripped off all the ligament of my tailbone, uh, which, is the, which is the clavicle. Um, so he still hurt. I cannot do some movement, but I recover a lot. Uh, mobility helps a lot, especially when you have injuries to uh, increase the motion, uh, which you will uh, decrease the capacity of hurting yourself. Uh, when you have a lack of motion, um, uh, it can create uh, damage. So, incorporate it. Uh, I try to do as much as I can. I'm pretty lazy with mobility and stretching due to the fact that it's put me in an uncomfortable zone, which we call pain and uh, I uh, don't really like it, uh, but I, I have a good mobility for the body that I have. Uh, I still have mobility from Olympic weightlifting and, and CrossFit, obviously, and uh, some other sports that I did through the time. So make sure to have at least 15 minutes of mobility each time that you train before it will be good. I don't like to stretch before the training we can talk about that for another video. I will not take too much time, but stretching before a session, especially when you are not warm, it's uh, 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 not beneficial because the muscles cannot be uh, uh, straight or stretch when it's cold. So I like to stretch, for example, when I go run, I do my 15 minutes of uh, warming up, which I, try, I activate some muscles. I do some exercise, I run. Then I stop, I stretch, continuing to walk, and then I do my long run. This is what I will do today. Uh, I will stretch at the end of the, the training, but I realize, and Michel is right next to me, that when I stretch after the session, I recover faster, but the next day, my lower back is hurting. 
So I don't know if I will uh, continue to stretch at the end of the session or if I will incorporate mobility uh, uh, movement, which will uh, be probably in the next couple of uh, videos. So guys, uh, we are done for today. Um, so this is the episode one of the real preparation. Um, each time, each week, you will have a resume. I will try to give you a resume of the week. We will continue to uh, alimentate take the channel with short. So please uh, see it, watch it, comment it if you can, thumb up uh, to activate notification um, and uh, it will help us to be seen. We have the other channel, which is Awakening Tribes. Uh, most of the people that are uh, subscribing on this new channel are most of the time uh, um, well known of the other channel we talk about spirituality so this channel is more about how to uh, uh, make real into the matter what we explain with the other channel where it's more discussion interacting with people uh, uh, sharing experience but this experience um, is not a lie i show you what i throw myself uh, you will see some injuries for sure i will have injuries uh, sometimes I will have to block, you will see my obstacle, uh, uh, the financial, uh, and then you can relate and reflect to your own obstacle. Uh, so some will say, no, but it's not the same. Uh, you want to buy a bike, uh, I need uh, to pay my, my rent for my house. It's the same problem. It's just the objective are not the same. The, the vision of the problem is not the same, but the problem by itself, it's finance. So it's the same things. When you are hurt and when you are lazy uh, because you, I don't know, you have uh, overweight and you don't want to move from your, your sofa uh, because it's easier, you prefer to watch TV uh, than walking outside, this is the same issues. Uh, laziness. Uh, if you are not honest with yourself, then you will lie. You will continue to lie to yourself. But it's, it's better to kick your butt. Uh, some other people will say, yeah, but my health, your health is your choice. Uh, if you want to be in bad health, you will be in bad health. If you want to work on it and, and, and try to fight to uh, understand why your health have a defect, it's only your choice. Nobody is responsible of your health. Uh, you are responsible of your health. So take care of yourself. Uh, please follow us if you, if you want. Comment. The next video will be more about short and uh, as I said, the resume of the training uh, and other video will come uh, later on with specific techniques of swimming, uh, what I discover, what I learn and uh, focus still on visualization and your mind. Bye guys. Thank you for watching us.